Hey Virgo, welcome to your January 2019 uh, Spirit Message Tarot reading. I'm so glad to have you guys back. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button, um, especially if you like this video so you can be notified when the next one comes up. We do these every month as well as love readings and I post daily readings here literally every day. Um, so lots to be excited about, lots of information and content coming your way. Um, so please subscribe so you can be a part of it. Um, if this is your first time to this channel, this is going to be for your, um, or all Virgos, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. I definitely recommend um, Sun and Ascendant videos. Um, those are the ones I connect most strongly with. Um, but I do encourage you to watch all of your signs. It all just kind of depends what um, kind of questions you have about this month. Um, if you're just kind of interested in knowing more, definitely, definitely Ascendant. I would say Ascendant most. And then your Sun sign. Um, moon is good if you have some questions about love or relationships, um, even your Venus sign. Um, moon is all about our soul and how we feel about things, um, and then Venus being the planet of love. That's a direct correlation there. Um, all of these messages are general, so take it as it resonates. Don't try to force anything. If you have to like fudge too many details or forgive too many things, that message wasn't meant for you. Do not try to force it. So you may resonate with all the decks, you may resonate with one of them. Um, it's just going to depend on your journey. And even though it's dated for, you know, January, this doesn't mean January 1st. So this message could apply to you on the 1st, it could apply on the 15th, it could apply on the 30th. Who knows? It's all, it's all relative, it's going to depend. Energy is fluid. So if this is your first time, I have these three oracle decks um, to kind of get a little peek at different facets of your life. Good tarot for a look at work and finances. Um, keepers of the light for your own spiritual growth and development. And then I have the Romance Angel deck to get a peek at love and relationships for you. And then as always, we will clarify and end the reading with your tarot spirit message. So what is going on for my Virgos concerning love and romance? What do we get? Ooh! This is fun, so I'm putting the deck down. All right, so you guys got Express Your Love. Be open with your feelings. I love that. Prompt reads, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I feel like this could be for anyone. So whether you're in a relationship and maybe going through the motions and showing how you love your partner, you know, making a little special effort for them. Or if you're single and maybe there's someone you have your eye on, not being afraid to go and make the gesture. And I get that can totally be intimidating. No one ever wants to, you know, there's always that fear of rejection. But honestly, it's like, show, show how you're feeling. Maybe this person has the same feelings, but they're also afraid. That could totally be a thing. Maybe they're also super clueless and they like you, but they, you know, have no idea you like them. Just let them know. Just let them know. All right. And then Spirit, who is supporting my lovely Virgos as they continue to grow? What energy are they adopting as they evolve through the month of January? 2019. Oh, that's a short one. Alright, and just a heads up, if you see anything like float past the screen, I do have some incense burning right off, right off camera. So if you see anything float by, it's probably just the incense smoke. Oh, this is like the third reading that this card has popped up. So you guys got White Eagle, Ancestor Spirit. There's a lot of signs having having visits from, you know, loved ones that are helping them transition or helping them move through, you know, a situation or this phase, you know, this new year, I've been talking a lot about how I think 2018 was a year that we were releasing and letting a lot of things go. So many things shifted and changed and some changed very dramatically. There's a lot of changes and shifting going on. 2019, 2019, to me, is the year where we start manifesting. Those things we've been working on and planning on and dreaming of start to become physical. They start to become tangible. So it's almost like the ancestors are coming to support us as we continue these shifts, as we start these new endeavors, and we start building this new life for ourselves. Spirit is there helping us and guiding us and bringing us, you know, I keep wanting to say comfort, but that's not the word I want. 
it's it's like encouragement and support, not necessarily comfort, because they're they're trying to like they're like our little cheerleaders. They're like rah rah rah, you can do it. All right. What is going on for Virgos concerning work and finances? Work and finances for Virgo, January 2019. You guys must have a lot on your mind. I'm having a really hard time, like, staying, like, staying in the zone. I keep getting distracted by things. I feel like you guys have a lot, literally a lot on your mind, a lot going on, a lot of details you're trying to sort out, you know. I think you're trying to plan a lot of things, and you've got all these different little paths you're trying to go down. I think there's a lot pulling your focus right now, like, a lot. Baby, there's a lot going on in there. All right. Okay. Ace of Earth for you guys. Beautiful card to come out in in a you know position of money and finances. Um, that is abundance. I mean, you're making some coin, my friend. It could also be a new start. So maybe you're getting a new new position, new job, um, a new way of earning income. That may be what you know the ancestors are here to help you with. This could be what you're. Your loved ones are here either trying to support you through and, you know, keep the faith strong, keep the motivation high, or they're helping to align these, these opportunities for you. Like even this card with, you know, this beautiful stag in this image, you know, the stag is also seen as a spiritual animal. That could be a spiritual totem that's coming to help you and to lead you. I always think the stag is like, you know, that energy is the energy of a leader. You know what I mean? Like that's like the father of the family, right? So this stag, I think, is trying to get you to that position of power. You know, almost like, to me, it's giving me, like, a lot of emperor energy, even though that's has nothing to do with the suit of earth. But it's, like, giving me that emperor energy. It's like, like no, you, you need to be the king. Like, we're stepping you up, my friend. Like, we're trying to give you this position of power. I almost feel like that's where these details are getting in the way, because you're, like, you're, like... Maybe like mouse versus eagle. Like the mouse is so small and it's looking at all these little fine details. And it's not that they're not important. They do play their part. But you're so focused on all these little things. Whereas eagle is flying high above everything looking at, you know, the broader the broader field of vision. This big picture. I feel like we're trying to get you to look at the big picture. Not so much the little, the little tiny detail. I almost want to say spirit is on hand to take care of the detail. It's like answer, like no, we got this. We'll we'll take care of this. You got other things to do. No, no, there's some new stuff coming. That we want you to deal with. Enjoy that. We'll we'll take care of this. Like, go do that. Like this, express your love. Could also just be just natural expression. Expressing anything. Joy. Happiness. Pleasure. Oh, I said pleasure. The pleasure was a word. Like, enjoy. I feel like all this, like, detail-oriented things you guys are doing, like, it's it's gnawing away at you. I almost feel like it's pulling you away. It's pulling you out of this, this cycle. It's pulling you out of this flow. Because there's definitely with this ace, there's a new start. There's a new, there's a new blessing, a new offer coming in. That you need to be open to. I almost wonder this expression, this like sharing your interest, sharing your passion for something, that may be what attracts this new beginning. Maybe someone, maybe there's a part of you that someone who has this for you doesn't know that you even enjoy it. They're like, oh, I have this thing, but I don't really know who's into it. And then you, you know, walk by one day, like, oh my god, I totally love, you know, this thing. And then someone's like, oh, I have one. You want it? You know, like, I feel like this express your love is, is, it's just expression in general. Like, just be open. Have fun, maybe. Like, just, just enjoy things. 
don't don't worry so much about all the like the nitty gritty things. All right, spirit. What is your main message for Virgos for January 2019? Whoa, 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 whoa. that was interesting. See again, my mind kept focused. That was spirit. Like no, get focus. <laughs> I started thinking about something else. All right. Whew. Taking a woosa. All right. Yeah, you guys are, you guys are literally focusing on everything. You're trying to take care. Of, maybe you're trying to take care of too many people or too many details. Like there is a lot going on in your head right now. Something ran away. There, I see it. I got it, I got it, I got it. We're getting it. Okay, okay. I think this is what I'm about to talk about. I think this is past. So we're going to pull some more cards. But I say past because here we have this bottom of the deck. Ten of Swords. So this is the completion of something. This is something that's already happened. Um, but I want to say whatever this thing that was happened, you felt betrayed. Whether this was a work thing, whether this was romance, whatever this was. Something happened in the past that you felt hurt by. You know, something... Someone, something or someone or some situation didn't treat you right and it left you wounded. It left you in a place where it was hard for you to trust. So now, the star is coming and showing up in your reading to give you more hope. To give you more hope. Be optimistic. You know, love again. Trust again. You know, wish for the best. To me, the star energy isn't necessarily practical, It's because it's all about hope. You know, it's w what do you wish for? What do you want? What is the best situation? You know, it's not, it's not necessarily worrying about what is. What do you want? What do you want to create? What do you want to make? How can we make this happen? And you have this Prince of Pentacles card in reverse. In, and this is the one that, like, ran away. Like, it was so excited to get out. Like, it, like, left off the table. Normally, the Prince of Pentacles, is, it's a very sure and steadfast progression, but it's slow. Like, the Prince of Pentacles knows exactly where he's going, and he's going to get there. But he's only going to move when he knows it's the right thing to do. He's only going to move when he knows success is guaranteed. You know, he's willing to wait for the right path. But I feel like in reverse, you guys are rushing. You guys are like trying to do too much. Like, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. Like, you're trying to take all these other things on. And you also have this Prince of Swords energy, which is, again, another really fast-moving energy. You know, this is, this is someone questing for understanding, knowledge. Um, and quickly, quickly, like, to me, it's, it, the haste in this card is what gets me the most. Like, there's so much action behind the Prince of Swords, and it's, it's literally fast. Like, this is someone who's, like, flying over mountains. And then you have this energy, which normally would bring you success. It pretty much guarantees your success. It may be slow, but it's going to guarantee it. And it's, it's being kind of forsaken for this fast, you know, impulsive, you know, almost impetuous energy that's just like, go, 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 no, no, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. get in the car, get in the car, hurry up, let's go. <laughs> it's just like, it's like trying to do this. You know what I mean? And maybe this is from this hurt. Maybe it's from this, like, distrustful energy. So I look, I need to get out of this. I need to go. I need to do something else. I need to distract myself. I need to da-da-da-da-da. And the star card's like, ha-ha-ha, breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. It already happened. It's done already. It, 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 it happened. But it's over. It's over. You don't need to keep acting like it's still happening. It's over. Where do we go from here? What would you like to do? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to see yourself? Because this is just going to ruin you. This impulsive, fast-moving, hectic, chaotic situation. We're going to take you. Mm -hmm. I thought that was going to be 
jump out? Okay. Maybe not. We'll see. Ah, I was literally thinking about this card when I was talking about the Prince of Swords. Because the Swords and the Prince of Swords and the Prince of Wands are the princes that are shown in, like, motion. Like, there's action. You can see, like, Prince of Wands is rearing his horse back. Prince of Swords is, like, is already galloping. You can see here, real steady in comparison. Horse is standing there. He always got his foot up. He's, like, ready to take a step. But it's like, where am I stepping? I'm going to take the right step. I know, I know. See, look, still jumpy. Like, calm down, calm down. These two princes are racing. They're running, they're wild. So again, even more confirmation that you're moving super, super fast. And I want to say you, sh you you don't want to. You don't want to move fast. It's not going to help you. Because you also have the Three of Wands, which is a beautiful card, but it's also a card of waiting. It's waiting, it's receiving. You know, you can see in the card, there's, um, the ships are coming to shore, and this guy is just standing, he's standing on the cliff like, that's my ship, that's the delivery I wanted, it's coming, alright, sweet, come to me, come to me. Like, I think, I think success is given this month if you can be on the passive side of it, and I think that exercises a lot of faith, you know, you're kind of like, you know it's coming. You know, I know I, I know I already set everything up. I know I did the work. I know I did it. Now it's just time for all of that to come back to me. And it will, because you have the Six of Wands here. You go from the Three of Wands to the Six of Wands. Literally doubling your energy. Six of Wands is all about success and recognition. I feel like, you'd, like you've like you done the things that you will be recognized for, so there's no need to overwork yourself and stress yourself out. You've done it already. So now I want you sitting in that Three of Wands we were like, I know I did it. I know I manifested it. It's coming. The ships are coming. The delivery is coming. There's no need for me to panic anymore. And then you get to the Six of Wands where everyone recognizes it and gives you what you deserve. Like the work has already been done. So I talked about this doubling. Three of Wands to the Six of Wands. Here you have the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords is back. So again... This doubling. So you can either double your blessings, or you can double your stress. Because Five of Swords is like mind games, it's manipulation. But I feel like this is what you're doing to yourself. Like you're running your mouth, you're running your mind so much and so hard, you're eventually going to destroy yourself. So would you rather double your stress? Please say no. <laughs> or double your blessings. You set out your intentions, you put in you put in your order, you know you did the work, you know you did what you're supposed to, and you set it out there for the universe to receive, and then they recognize you for it, and it comes back to you. Success. Here is success. Coming back triumphant on your lovely white horse. Here is success. Or here is defeat. All right? You want, do you want to die in the war, or do you want to return a hero? Choice is yours. Choice is yours. But this, you get to by allowing it to come to you. This, you get to by chasing after it and being impulsive. So don't overwork yourself. Like, the, I, I would return to this expression. Like, you're, you're expressing it. You're sharing, but you're not forcing it. All right? All about expression. What are you express? Are you expressing stress? Are you expressing frustration? Or are you expressing joy, contentment, worth, value? Oh, that got real heavy. All right, my lovely Virgos. I'm going to wrap it up here. Beautiful, beautiful message for the month of January. Allow. Allow. The worst is already over. It's behind you. There's no reason to continue to act like that's going to happen again. Be optimistic. Be hopeful. What what do you see in the future? And allow it to come to you. Alright? I love you guys. Amazing, amazing. If you like this video, if it resonated with you, hit the like button. Um, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe as always. Or again, 
um, just so you can be notified when more content comes out. Um, if you want to reach out to me, I'd love to hear from you. Hit me up in the comment section. You can DM me on Instagram at The Guiding Chariot. Uh, if you want to book a personal reading or a private reading with me, you can also hit me up in my email. All that information is below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next month. Happy New Year, Virgo!